What's good, JD fam? Welcome back to another video. Today is Halloween. So happy Halloween to you all. You guys are gonna be seeing this later, so I hope you had a good Halloween. Let me know what you guys decided to be and what your kids decided to be. You guys will see our costumes later. But right now we are actually headed to Koa's doctor's appointment. This is his one year checkup. They didn't have anything right when he turned one. He's like kind of like a month late or a few weeks late. But look at this little boy. He just fell asleep and I've been trying to keep him up and he just will not stay up. One thing about this car seat that we got him is like he instantly falls asleep every time we get in the car. He takes a little cat nap at least. So hopefully he doesn't wake up too cranky. He might be getting some shots. I don't know. This is kind of like the worst day for him to be getting shots because it's Halloween. We want to go trick-or-treating and all that stuff. But this was the only day they had so it needed to be done my poor baby plus we're in the process of moving so yeah plus we're in the process of moving so we can't put this off he needs to get his one year appointment set in and then we also need to take him to the dentist before we move babe i'm all eating his leftover pancakes do you guys do that with your kids food that's mostly what i eat during the day his leftovers <laughs> go 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 where are you going <laughs> <laughs> you running from Dada? Run away, run away. <laughs> Go, those are cute. This is his favorite thing to do is just run around all day. What's up, baby? Shots. How you feeling? Feeling pretty good. You're a big boy. Very strong. <laughs> what it is, y'all? You know what I'm saying? I, I just took a uh, break off of being a superhero for a second. I was about to say, what kind of superhero was, are you? It was getting real hectic out there. The crime was getting crazy. Coco, let me see you as a superhero. <laughs> T-Tyus, go! You don't, right? don't want to show off his costume. T-Tyus, go! Let me see, Coco. What are you for Halloween? Are you Teen Titans? Go! Goodness, you're cute! And this is me. I already took off my boots and I don't have my gloves on either. Oh my gosh, don't mind Koa's toys. It's a disaster. This is my Teen Titan outfit. We did post a picture on Instagram. Well, we haven't yet, but by the time you guys see this video, it will already be up. I just came to save the world and that's all I wanted to do. Also, the struggle of us trying to take a family picture oh on our own. God. Oh my goodness, you guys. We were using this little flimsy freaking tripod that oh barely would stay up. Goodness. We had to keep running back and forth to press the timer button, and then Koa was like not having it. He was trying to run away. He did not want to stand still for the picture, but we tried our best, so. Yeah, we tried our best, but I honestly like our outfits. I'm glad that we chose the Teen Titans Go. We kind of came up with these last minute and it just worked out. Yeah, literally, honestly, last night we went <laughs> to go get our costumes, but better late than ever. Yeah, we're always really? last minute people. And we're still in the spirit. Yep, still in the Halloween spirit. We wanted to go trick-or-treating today, take a couple trick-or-treating for the first time. Are we going to, babe? Uh, we're gonna go a little bit later though. So I think it's a little bit too early. Yeah, it's like, it's too early to go right now, but then if we wait too late, Koa's gonna be asleep because he's an early bird. He's out by like seven o'clock, he's done for the night. So I don't know what time, maybe five? Yeah, I think five. What's already about to be four? I think like 4.35 is probably like 30 minutes an hour is probably. Yeah, and we still have to go get candy. I'm not trying to get a lot of candy this year though because last year we only had one trick-or-treater the whole day. And we bought so much candy for nothing. It all went to waste. Also an update on Koa's doctor's appointment. So I told you guys he did end up getting three shots. My poor little baby, he was, he did not like those shots. But he is a trooper, he's a strong boy. So he really only cried for a second and then Julius just made him laugh. He's really good at that. I do. I do. <laughs> also, Koa is in the 90 something percentile for literally all the categories. Like, I don't even know how, even height. And you guys know, me and Julius are not like the tallest. Well, I'm real short. Julius is not like the tallest person. But he's in the 91st percentile for height. I'm like, okay, boy. 
Get up there then. You growing quick. You grew early though, huh? You were like taught early and then you kind of like stalled out. I was an early bloomer. Yeah, early bloomer. Coco might be an early bloomer. He was also in the 90th percentile in weight. My little chunky man. He's so cute. I love him chunky like that. <laughs> Even head size, he was like in the 80th percentile or something. He definitely got that from his dad. Julius though took the appointment way harder than Koa. Like he cannot handle seeing Koa in pain. <laughs> he was like, I'm feeling sick. I'm like, you gotta keep it together for Koa. You can't get sick when he's going through the stuff. Like, come on now. Hey T Titan, how are you feeling now? Do you feel better? Yeah, you feel better. No way. Is that true? Go save something. Go save somebody, Koa. We came to the grocery store to get some candy and Julius is scared to go Destiny's, in. Destiny's, no, she's trying to finesse me. She said, oh, we need candy and this and that and this and that. I'm like, okay, cool, let's go to the store. I'm thinking we're all about to go in there. She's trying to have me go in there. I'm looking at everybody come out and every single adult is in no costume. So, right, get give me the look. Look. He just here. got off work and he's about to oh, go get some snakes. Oh, Koda, wanna come <laughs> in? You're in the get spirit, maybe you'll get everybody else in the spirit. <laughs> Come on, Daddy, we gotta go, man. <laughs> They're over there talking about us, man. Let me see my boys. Come on, let me see. Oh my goodness, you guys are cute. Babe, take the hat off. I gotta put that Well, on. now you look goofy with the hat. Take the hat off. <laughs> okay, the reason I'm not going into the store is because my costume is too short, so I'm not trying to, you know, show all that. I can't actually wear this out. I don't really feel comfortable. But we came out driving around to see if there were any kids out trick-or-treating and there's not a single kid out in sight. Nobody's dressed up. Like, it's almost as if it's not even Halloween. I feel like Halloween is becoming purely an Instagram holiday. Like people only dress up just to take an Instagram picture or go to a party, but usually it's it's not even like the day of Halloween, it's like days before. So yeah, I don't know what that's all about. Honestly, I don't even really care for Halloween. Like I like the time leading up to Halloween, like the season. I like the scary things you can go to, the movies, just the whole time of year, but I don't actually care for the holiday. Like, I don't know. Koa's in that weird age where he can't really even go trick-or-treating. Like he can, but he can't eat the candy. He can't really do anything. So it's just kind of like just for the experience, I guess. And he literally could care less about the costumes either. Like he's not entertained with us being dressed up like him at all. Koa fell asleep on the way home, so no trick-or-treating for now at least. Yeah, he probably gonna be asleep for the rest of the night, guys. He had a long day, he had shots. Yeah, he My had a boy's been going through it. <laughs> you look so funny, babe. You're a cute dad dressing up with your baby. <laughs> so yesterday we had a total of one, one trigger trader. <laughs> yeah. And I'm telling you guys, like, look, I even put a big thing of candy outside so people can just grab it because we kind of went to sleep early last night. Oh. The whole thing was still there. Nobody <laughs> grabbed anything. So it's like, yeah. I don't think nobody even came besides those one trick or treat. Yeah, it was like a group of three kids that just came at once. Julius got all excited. I actually, I was, I was like, babe, babe, go, go. And I was just fresh out the shower, so yeah. I couldn't go, but I was like, And I had go, fallen go. asleep. I was like, oh shoot. And guess what she gave him, guys? What? One area. No, I didn't. I gave, them, I gave them six because it's all I could grab really quickly. <laughs> I was gonna get them more, and they're like, oh no, that's enough. We can split that. So that's two. They're big airheads. Yeah, they me. were. I love airheads. Whatever. Now we have a whole bunch of candy left over once again. But you know what? I've seen a lot of people on Instagram stories. Like, there was a lot of trick or treaters out in other areas. I think our area just yeah, I told nobody you, trick or treat. drive somewhere to actually get the full experience because like where we live it's like kind of like more a lot of older people yeah, older people not and, any young kids yeah, not with any uh, newer like younger kids and stuff so um i think that we needed to like get out of our neighborhood and go somewhere else but, yeah but koa went to sleep yeah. at 5 30 so like nobody even trick-or-treats that early anyways and we didn't want to wake him up just to he go had a long day yesterday though he had his shots he had his doctor's appointment 
he took a 20 minute nap before his doctor's appointment so he didn't get his full nap so yeah we had to wake him up for the appointment yeah so he's actually napping right now he's getting a good rest in today we have a lot of stuff that we need to start getting done because our moving day is actually coming very very soon today is the first of the month so this month we are officially moving to texas yes. and it's huge so we actually excited. are planning on being fully out of this house in two weeks Ooh. so we only have two weeks so we have to pack up everything and move our whole life to a different state and we haven't started literally we haven't started doing one thing and we have a lot to do we have a lot of stuff we need to sort through and give away donate whatever the case may be you have a lot of work in the garage yeah, i have a lot a lot of work to do in the garage but i think <laughs> i'm gonna handle that this weekend i'm gonna really take like probably sunday all day i'm gonna put the football games up on my phone or something and just clean out the whole entire garage we were supposed to start packing today but mr julius yeah, is not feeling I'm well not feeling like i'm feeling a little bit under the weather i think i'm feeling under the weather just because we've been traveling a lot we went yeah. to arizona we've texas. been in texas and in texas the weather was like super crazy it was hot one day and then it was raining and then it was cold so then arizona was hot yeah. out here it's cold today yeah. so we've been in three different climates in the matter of like three days so i told him that's probably why you're feeling sick because, you know, just back and forth, back and forth, a lot of traveling. But me and Ko are feeling good. Yeah, her and Ko are feeling good. I think I just need like a little rest. You know, I've been doing a lot of stuff and we've been stressing out about getting this house together and moving and all that stuff. So plus think, once you start feeling any type of sickness, you start psyching yeah, yourself start psyching out and think you have a full like, blown. Yeah, I think today we're going to just chill, take it easy a little bit. And, and I'm going to make him some soup. Yeah, my baby's gonna take care of me. We're gonna relax and we're gonna get ready. We're gonna plan this move because we have a lot of stuff that we need to get done. But I'm about to pour me some cereal, so yeah, I'm looking crusty. It's over. <laughs> I think I'm gonna make chicken and gnocchi soup. He wants chicken noodle soup, but I feel like I always make that and I wanna try to make something different. So I'm gonna make chicken and gnocchi soup with Olive Garden breadsticks, maybe even a salad. Like we should do a full little Olive Garden experience I'm down. I'm down today. For Olive Garden. Because you were craving that yesterday too, right? Oh, yeah, I think that's what we're gonna do today. And babe, this is also probably why your stomach's always hurting because you're lactose intolerant, but you be eating cereal every day, tearing up the milk, dairy and all. I gotta know. <laughs> that's a wrap for today's video. Julius is just really under the weather today, so we haven't really done much. It's been a very <coughs> chill, laid back day, which we needed. Super chill and laid back. I'm over here feeling super like under weather, so I'm about to go take a shower and we're about to lay down and relax for the rest of the night. Oh, baby. I hate when you guys Ooh. are sick. Well, Koa's not sick, but like I don't like when either of you are sick. I'm gonna take good care of him though, and he'll be back to just fine in no time, right, babe? Hopefully. <laughs> okay. Good. We love you guys. We hope you enjoyed this video, and we will see you next time. Bye.